So hi everyone, today I would be giving you some information on a business environment. So this is something I would like to share with you as I found it really interesting. So the business environment, every business as it exists, it has an environment and that environment consists of various factors that directly or indirectly affect the business. So for every business, it's actually very key to identify its environment so that it would be able to manage the business according to the environmental impacts. So this is something I would like to share with you in this video. So let's get into it. So what is a business environment? Let us see that first. So according to Bayer O. Wheeler and then Arthur M. Weimer, these are like business administration professors. So according to Bayer O. Wheeler, he says that the total of all things external to firms and industries which affect their organization and operation can be said as a business environment. Okay, some external things that affect the organization and its operations. According to Arthur M. Weimer, he says that the business environment encompasses the climate or set of conditions such as economic, social, political, institutional, in which business operations are conducted. So within this environment, they call it as a business environment. A business environment can either be a threat or an opportunity for a business. Okay. So the environment, based on the environment, you can either, you know, um, find that there will be various opportunities else because of the dominating factors in the business environment it can pose a threat to a business so there are two you know um, paths between in a business environment that it can be a threat or it can be an opportunity so let us look at the factors okay that exist in a business environment the different types so there are actually two types of you know business environments the first one is micro environment okay it relates to all the internal matters of a business okay and the second one is macro environment or the external environment okay so let us look at the micro environment now another key point to keep in mind is the micro environment as i said it's the internal matters of a business it means that a business also has control over all these factors okay so it's within the control of the business and what is within the control of the business is the very structure of the business, the size of the business, policies that are related to the business or the products being produced. So all this is in control of the business. The business can decide what type of uh, you know operating model it should go with, what type of structure it should have, what should be the business size, the policy, what is the business policy existing and what are the products that they want to produce. So these are some examples, you know, of the different factors of the micro environment or internal environment of a business. Now let us look at the macro environment of a business. Okay. So the first one is the demographic environment. So, okay. So this environment also plays an important role in your business. So you need to look at the demographic side of things. It can be the people who exist, the size of the population. It can be the mindset of the people. Now to give you an example, let's say the business where you have, you know, um, where you, the, your business is located, the entire population over there, their mindset is fixed on use and throw. So when it's a use and throw type of a mentality that people have, then what happens is the, you know, demand for products and services uh, for products would be higher so you would find many manufacturing companies that you know arise in that particular location or the business also you would find that the manufacturing increases because the people's mindset is use and throw when you compare this a mindset of certain people it won't be use and throw they would have a mindset of use and repair so at that time you would find that you would have a, more than manufacturing you would find that there are a lot of repair mechanical shops there would be also a lot of demand for you know mechanics and people who know some repair um, you know they would be hired so all this increases based on certain demographic uh, aspects of a environment 
the next one is economic environment so the economics of a country or a place also affects the business indirectly because the business it depends on the economy also and the economy is also related to a business okay as the business it draws certain you know inputs from the external environment the economy also draws certain uh, you know um, inputs from a business okay so whatever the business keeps producing it all actually affects the economy also so some of the examples of this could be foreign policies monetary policies all these can be examples so the very economic environment also is one of an important factor the next one is the geographical and ecological environment so the geographic side of things okay where your business exists so let's say your business exists in um somewhere in the in some uh, the middle east countries then you would be finding that there's a lot of you know opportunities for crude oil all this can be you know um, produced if your business is situated somewhere in kenya then it's more of forestry uh, products that are produced so similarly depending on where you exist what type of you know resources available there there is a boom for your business in those particular products so that's how the geographical and ecological environment also plays an important role in your business the next one is legal environment so there is a full legal side of it okay so no matter how your business exists there would be some legal policies there'll be some tax that's being imposed there'll be some rules that are you know imposed by the government there'll be some restrictions like for example you're a company that that's manufacturing plastic bags okay but then later on in time when plastic bags have been banded that legal those policies and those rules and bans will in the, will definitely affect your business so always a business has to be look out on the lookout for the legal side or that legal environment and what happens in the legal environment side because whatever might be the changes or updations being done there it could you know directly or indirectly affect the business so that's one external factor the next one is the technological environment okay so every business definitely uses some sort of a technology okay so technology also is going on you know um being upgraded new technologies are being you know in, innovated and companies also are adapting to those new technologies so of course con- customers also would want the latest technology the latest and the best one so companies also have to keep adapting themselves and upgrading themselves to these new technological factors so the technological environment also plays an important role okay because if you're going to be technologically backward then definitely at one point of time no one is going to prefer prefer your product or your service so the technological environment also is important the next one is social environment and cultural environment so you need to you know even take into consideration the social and cultural environment it can be you know the social um, mindset of people the cultural aspects the religion the re- the rituals that take place for example if you're located if your business is located in you know let's say india okay so there are a lot of festivals that you need to you know keep in mind so that's how we get holidays for festivals so if you're going to be located somewhere else then you would be following those the that particular country's festivals and important days the social and cultural um, aspects of it so that also has to be taken into mind and then you have the political environment also so of course a pol- political environment is very important for a business because there there is you know um, whatever um a uh, political um, maybe rules or whatever is being imposed definitely something like the legal side it will may might or it may not affect a business so there is also a political you know aspect for uh, which remains as an external factor that can influence or impact a business okay so these are all the different external or the macro environments of a business so this is something i would like i wanted to tell you and it i was really you know um um 
it, it it was very interesting for me also to understand you know what are the different factors that can you know impact a business and based on these different environmental aspects how your business can find opportunities and how a business is supposed to operate so these are like just little information that i um, wanted to share with you and so i hope you like this video and if you found this video helpful and useful please do give this a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel and also do share your feedbacks thank you